If you enjoy this episode of the Workflows Photography Podcast, hit that subscribe or follow button on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever podcast player you are listening from. I'm going to be a photographer. And then five years, it's like, yeah, another freaking wedding. You know, it's like, it's it's so, uh, yeah. it, it doesn't have to be soul crushing, uh, yeah. but you have to control that. Workflows is a podcast about saving you time and money in your photography business. I'm your host, Scott Wyden-Kithowitz, a photographer and content creator who struggles with dyslexia, colorblindness, introversion, and anxiety stemming from years of being bullied as a child. Guess what? Workflows have been my rock. I have workflows for every aspect of my life. That's why I am so happy to bring you Workflows, a podcast presented by Imagine. As a company dedicated to saving you time and money in your photography business, it makes sense to enhance and expand the conversation to all things Workflows. Tune in and subscribe to hear stories, strategies, and tools that can be your rock. Hear from people just like you. Get to work with Workflows. Hailing from Mexico, Fair Haristi has always been creative at heart, beginning in music as a drummer, then falling in love with photography. He approaches wedding photography with the aim to blur the personal and the artistic. As Fair experiments, he brings other photographers along for the journey with his educational content and his workshops. Fair is also one of our talents here at Imagine, with the talent AI profile, Tierra. If you haven't heard of Fair or seen his work yet, you're in for a heck of a treat. Without further ado, here's my conversation with Fair. Hello, Fair. How's it going? Hey, Scott. All good, my friend. Living <laughs> la vida loca here, man. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited about this conversation. Um, I have been wanting to get you on the show for quite some time, and I'm glad. Not only did we make it happen, but it was... Pretty much a five-minute, hey, are you interested in being a guest? And you're like, let's do it. <laughs> so we're here. We are here. Yeah, life goes <laughs> fast, man. So if you say no to opportunities, you, you get lonely, man, and just start crying with uh, Bon Iver songs, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> So are you, are you, are you deep? You're, you gotta be deep in the, in the wedding season right now. Um, mm -hmm. so, yeah, the, so how, I'm, I'm happy with it because I have like a six week, uh, like free season that I'm doing a few okay. editorials and content for education, but six weeks without wedding. So it's like half of my year and it, it's weird, but I'm happy with that. Cool. Cool. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. It's good to, it's good to, I mean, you've got obviously different businesses go, you know, like, um, models going on and different things so it's good that you're structuring it the way that's keeping you sane <laughs> yeah well with three kids two dogs one awesome wife and enough weddings uh, to provide for them I'm, I'm more than happy awesome so let's dive right in the first question is the same question i ask every guest and that is what is one thing that you do for the photographic process this is behind the camera um, that has saved you time Okay, uh, well, I think for me, uh, I shoot everything on black and white. Uh, my, that's what I love about mirrorless cameras, that I can see the world in black and white. And for me, that's, that's yeah. magical because it removes all the distractions. I don't have to take care about white balance or this color or that. It, it just focuses me. Yeah. So I do the same, and it's interesting. Mm. This has come up a lot in the in the magic community recently. Mm -hmm. um, we did a live stream uh, with Sam and Lindsay Kohler and uh, Ashley Ray were on it, and Ashley brought up the fact that she's shooting all. So she's a hybrid. She does film and and digital mm. together at, at her at her weddings, and um, and she's shooting in black and white, and that stirred up a whole conversation in the community about. People like, wait, what is this magic that you're doing? And uh -huh. So I've been doing the same thing for a long time. So it's nice to hear other photographers that also do that. Um, it, it is worth noting for anybody who is, you know, wants to go this route is this, uh, this idea of shooting in black and white and then being able to edit in color only works <laughs> if you shoot in raw. If you do JPEG, it will correct. not work. <laughs> oh, correct, so, man. Yeah. Disclosure, disclosure. 
Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I'm my, I'm curious. You, so you shoot in black and white. Are you the type of photographer that looks at the back of the screen to frame and compose, or are you still like EVF with your mirrorless? A little bit of both, uh, but yeah, okay. uh, thanks to the to the screen, you can get well different angles and different perspectives. So yeah, yeah. Um, at the beginning, I, I felt when I started myself using more the screen, I was like, okay. I'm I'm changing. Uh, watch out! Uh, I'm, I'm I'm not the classic photographer anymore, you know. Because uh, every generation of photographer has something that that you have to to break that mold, no. And and uh, for for me, I remember it was at the beginning like everything's about the light, and then this generation came and who cares about the light? Uh, it's more about the emotions uh, and then it's about the composition and then who cares? Let's break it. And, and for me, switching uh, from viewfinder to screen, I remember feeling that I was like cheating, you know, like, oh, th this doesn't feel natural. Uh, but now we, I'm okay with it. You know, we have to be uh, adapting. And aging, it's, it's a big part of the process. We cannot control it. So it, it's always good to see what the new guys are doing and then try to implement it. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. So that's fantastic. Uh, what is now one thing you do for the business mm -hmm. uh, that has saved you either time or money? And let's not talk about Imagine yet because we will mm -hmm. get to Imagine down the road, but um, for your business. Okay, well, uh, I, I use uh, 17 hats uh, to help okay. me like create the contracts, generate the, the questionnaires, uh, do the uh, charging the, the big box, you know, the uh, $10,000 million that I charge per wedding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that helps me a lot just to simplify. And I'm not one of those guys that uh, if this happens, then this happens. You know, I, I'm not good at workflows. Uh, I, I still do everything by hand. Uh, mm -hmm. But 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 I I feel like uh, it, the brand looks more professional at least. You know, but that that helps me a lot just to to simplify things. And there are so many options out there. I think it's it's good to find the one that it's not trendy, but the one that simplifies your process and you can understand it. Yeah, yeah, you know, just because, um, you know, so, uh, a 17 hats or any other CRM type tool that is mm -hmm. out there exists and you're using it doesn't mean you need to use all the automation, mm -hmm. you know, just using it for contracts and keeping track of your of your customers and payments and all that, that in itself is a huge time and money saver. Um, yes. Being able to add in a in any automation is just an added bonus <laughs> for, yeah. for that. And, and and the other one as well, like uh, using like online galleries that can allow you to to sell without extra steps. Like I, I use like PickTime for example, and right. and then I just receive money, man. You know, without without shipping, without sending, without taking care of the files. Uh, album design as well. Like a lot of people are like very control freaks, and they want to control every single spread. For me, I just simplify it for my couples. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know, s simple sometime, depending on the photographer, depending on the person, simple is better. <laughs> so. oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want to yeah. be a control freak. You know, I, 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 yeah. I'm not the photographer that is going to like pixel peep every single image. No, man. It's like right. it's it's freaking good enough. It, it has my yeah. stamp on it. Let's go crazy. Let's follow yeah. up. What's next? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And I mean, tools like like PickTime as well, which we're going to get to um, more like after after session type of uh, just topics as well. But a tool like PickTime, it's so beautifully designed and offers so much that like your clients are going to have a wide range of products they can choose from, you know, and, and you know, it's going to be printed well with the any, any integrated labs and, and whatnot. So, yeah, yeah, definitely a fantastic thing to do. Yeah. Um, so. Again, besides from Imagine, let's let's dive into some editing. What is one thing you do now for the editing side that has saved you time? Uh, well, I think my magic formula, it's been since almost I started my career. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I export all the JPEGs and I still use Exposure. It's, it's, it's an app. Uh, yep. it, it, and I, I love that. It's just like a batch process, a batch process for color, 
batch process for black and white, but I received so many comments from photographers like, why do your images look sharper than mine or, or these skin tones? And it's one click button using exposure after using all Lightroom and all that stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's one app that I, I you know, I know, I, I know about from over the years. It's one app that I've never tried. And I've tried a lot of apps, but that's uh -huh. one I've never tried. And I think, I don't know, I don't know why, but um, it, it, keep, it gets brought up a lot uh, lately. So I, I think I'm going to have to try it just to see what everybody keeps raving about. <laughs> yeah, the, the other one I still use, it's, it's, a, it's a Photoshop script. It's called Co Code and Hustle. So it helps you uh, run some actions uh, instantly. So when I export for, for slideshows or for uh, Instagram, uh, it adds uh, Sharpen for web, the one I want, not the one that light, Lightrooms have, you know? And right, it, right. Uh, it, it makes the files uh, that, uh, the, they're smaller files, you know? So, yeah. but still, like, running the kind of Sharpen that, that you want, it's extremely important, not, not the, the normal one. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, again, I, so that one I've never heard of, so I'm definitely going to check that. Check that yeah, out. Yeah, there's a small company Photoshop from person, Canada. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, awesome. Okay, so we've talked about photographic. We've talked about business. We've talked about a little bit of editing. Now, mm -hmm. what is one thing you do after a session? You've now, you've, you've, you've done the, the, the couple, the, the family, the, the wedding, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, you've, you've gone through, you've edited it all. What is one thing you do after all that stuff? after the session, after it's all edited, that has saved you, um, uh, saved you time or increased business or anything like that? What is one thing you do after a session? Well, what helps me a lot, it's, it's try to be quick on my deliveries. Uh, mm. So like sending like a sneak peek, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bump uh, your, your momentum. So, so mm. for me, it's usually the same day or the day after I try to have a, a few sneak peeks on, on Instagram and I send them directly as well on, on their, on their uh, mobile phones as well. And that helps a lot. And then controlling uh, the narrative as well. Uh, for example, uh, I see that a lot of people, they call their images, like they will, the ones that are worth it. Uh, and then they start to remove the bad ones. So for me, I always go to the gold first. Uh, the ones that have my signature, my stamp, those are the ones that I want them to remember. Uh, yeah. Because uh, I am the boss. I know there is their wedding, but I say, like, these are the memories that are worth it. Uh, yeah. So, so a, a lot of people, I think they want to please their clients and everything has become the client experience. Yeah, mm. it's okay. That shit, that stuff. Sorry. Uh, but, <laughs> but I think we have to see ourselves as, as, as artists, as, as creators. They book mm. us because of how we see things, not because we have the trendiest or the fanciest camera. And right. we have to remember that 24 seven. So when you, when you deliver the sneak peeks, um, are you, are you, um, asking for them to, um, I, I asked the same question to everybody who, who brings up sneak peeks. Are you asking your, your clients to reference your photography business or are you just letting them do their thing and hope that they reference your photography business? Yeah, no, I, I don't ask them for me to, to tag me or to say, thank you. It, it, it will be, asking a favor you know if, if if they love my stuff if they pay me already that's enough that's enough for me <laughs> yeah I, i'm not gonna say hey here are the five steps uh yeah. that you have to follow after i deliver like no 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 do you, you yeah. own those files go bananas man yeah awesome okay um we're gonna dive into a section where mm -hmm. you are gonna pick a color oh okay okay let's go uh, orange or jello. Orange. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now, I am going to shuffle through these cards, and you're mm -hmm. going to tell me when to stop. Shoot. That's like a magic trip. One, two, <laughs> stop. Okay. The next question is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're going to have a good answer to this. I know you will. Let's see. If you, if you could try out a job for a day just to see if you like it, which job would you choose? Huh. I, I think it will be something uh, to do with 
uh, video games, like a video game tester or something like that. Yeah, I, I love I love that industry. Uh, I'm I'm obsessed with it with the, with the creative process because it's a yeah. business, but at, at a, a a passion at the same time. So I always related a lot with photography. So yeah, it will be something related like a day at Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I actually have a photographer friend that. Um, so I I'm my favorite thing to do with photography wise is landscapes. I mean, mm -hmm. that's my Zen zone. Put me on a landscape. I'm good for just leave me alone and let me sit on the edge of a mountain and photograph it. I'm, I'm, I'm a very happy person. Um, and, and he, my, this one friend of mine, he's in my like photo travel group where like we all get together somewhere once a year. Hasn't been in, in a while, unfortunately. And like, mm -hmm. well, it'll spend a week and photograph whatever, wherever it is. Um, and he is a, part-time photographer doing some client work, but he's also a full-time game tester. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Um, so, uh, yeah. So he gets to do it from the comfort of his gaming setup in his, in, at home. Um, and I don't, I don't even know what company he works for. I don't think he's allowed to say, but he tests yeah. games for a living. So <laughs> Beautiful, eh? Yeah. yeah. Like Definitely one a time, cool job. Yeah, a few years ago, I photographed a, a wedding in San Miguel de Allende of... Uh, a person, a uh, bride who works at Nintendo, and and yeah. she gave me a lot of stuff, man. So I was so happy. That's so cool. That's <laughs> so cool. Um, so uh, speaking of travel, where is so you you travel a lot? You've been all over the world, photographed, spoken at events, things like that. Where is your favorite place to travel, and where is your favorite place to photograph uh, your clients? Well, it has happened. Uh, in a weird way, because sometimes you can be in the most beautiful, exotic place and the couple are not into each other. <laughs> uh, they're, they're feeling the pressure of the day. So I 100% uh, prefer a shitty place with an awesome couple uh, than, than the opposite, you know? Yep, yep. So, 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 but like answering your question, uh, like the, the most exotic and, and beautiful place that i've been i think it's one time i was in 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 new zealand uh mm -hmm. photographing uh a video game reviewer and and a photographer a couple so for me that was magical uh that, that wedding for me gave me like a lot of wings you know like when you receive an inquiry and you're from mexico and they're telling you hey come over to my country to photograph my wedding uh, through through a Flickr group, you know, uh, you 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 don't think you're you're uh, like alive. You you think you're dreaming. So right. uh, I I remember that wedding a lot, and and I still keep in touch with them. So for That's me, amazing. that was like a before and after. Yeah, and, and as well, like you, you have doing destinations. Uh, it's not for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it sounds super romantic, but at the same time, you have to work uh, with jet lag. Uh, I have yeah. slept. Uh, with with my couples the day before their wedding, you know, because my hotel room wasn't ready, uh, and so there's a lot of things to consider. So yeah. nowadays, I prefer more working at Mexico and, and Mexico Ooh. and with international couples. Yeah, that. See, I wish I wish that I knew you twelve years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might not I... like my pictures 12 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, so, so for, for those listening and watching, um, my wife and I got married uh, in Riviera Maya, Mexico, mm -hmm. um, where I, I even think that you've, looking at your portfolio, I think you have photographed at the resort where I got married. Mm -hmm. um, right? Yeah. So I, I, I might, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it would have been so nice. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't have a wide selection of photographers to choose from at the time. Thanks let's the let's do a about renewal, a 15 year about yes. renewal, man. Yeah. My wife and I have been saying, um, we said at our 10 year anniversary, we'll go back with kids, whatever mm -hmm. kids we had. Mm -hmm. um, that has passed. So now we're aiming for the next couple of years, probably <laughs> like the 15, 15 year anniversary. We're going to get back, bring our kids. Because that, that resort specifically actually has a, um, mm -hmm. uh, like a daycare type of thing and like yeah. a kid's area and stuff. So 
uh, it, it really would be good to bring the kids back to that resort. So when that happens, when that happens. <laughs> yes. I'll send you the contract in, in a few minutes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, okay. So um, the next question I have for you is uh, we're going to dig a little deep. Um, mm -hmm. Can you share an outline breakdown of your workflow from lead to delivery? Looking at like 30,000 mm -hmm. foot view down, you know, um, a nice little bullet breakdown of, of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, I, I try to answer as fast as possible. Um, <laughs> and, and I send customized uh, links uh, on, my, on my pricing. So, so I don't send a generic PDF or a, gen or a generic link. I, if they say my names are A and B, uh, I create a ferrojuaristi.com slash uh, proposals uh, A and B. So I have their names, I have their, their dates, I have this city of where they're getting married. If I have photographed there, I send them slideshows of, of the venues that are close by, or, and then I send them uh, the, the collections, okay? So, so for me, that's extremely important. I want them to feel like these guys taking care of us. Because I shoot between 20 to 25 weddings per year, so I allow myself to, to treat them like humans and not like freaking numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So, so if if they if I am in the range of like price and artistry, uh, the next step will be to have a Zoom. Uh, I, I use an app called. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know of yep. it. So yep. in the same, mm -hmm. I use a template <laughs> with their freaking names, and yep. uh, so everything's like, oh, he's the same guy. And I use I use a lot of gifs and f bombs uh, during our consultation because I want them to see, okay. Am I able to take care of this guy for the next 12 hours on on my wedding day? You know, right, is, right. is he a good human being? Can I relate yeah. with him? Uh, for yeah. me, that's extremely important. Uh, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's all about, are you sure you want to book me instead of please book me? Right. Uh, so, yeah, I, they see full weddings, uh, slideshows. And, and after that, it's just a, a contract. Uh, I ask 25% of whatever millions are going to pay me. And, and then after that, I send them a few links with uh, articles about how it's about to work with me. You know, uh, like the, the importance of portraits, the importance of uh, documenting without stopping for the picture to happen. You know, um, about the delivery times. Be Please, you have to be extremely uh clear about how long does it takes for you to deliver your work. Uh, yeah. I see a lot of problems there. Um, and then I just arrived two days before the wedding in case my airplane crashes or no, not crashes, uh, fails or if it's no, no or if no it's, crashing uh, or if it's canceled <laughs> or anything, I, I like to right. arrive there. So the day before I just take it uh, as a, as a Nat Geo assignment, I go and take pictures of trees and the ocean and the mountains and the people because I want to I wanna tell this story about the place as well. Uh, I try to meet them during the rehearsal dinner. Uh, sometimes I bring my camera, sometimes I just bring an empty stomach. Uh, because I, I, I wanted, I wanted to say, hey, that's that guy, you know, he's, he's flesh yeah. and blood and he's going to yeah. create, uh, try to create beautiful images for us, you know? But, so, and, and mm -hmm. if you go, if you're not, if you're not hired to also photograph that, that dinner, right? Who cares? And just, just to, yeah. And, and you're there to just be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Now they're, they're connecting with you outside of what they're paying you, which is actually going to make their wedding photography even better. Yes. <laughs> so. That's why I, I, I charge millions. So if, if I have to work an extra hour, who cares, you know? Uh, yeah. And as well, there's a big difference in Mexico. Uh, in Mexico, uh, any other job, it's not paid by the hour. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's more like a, like the, the States kind of things. Mm -hmm. So I'm not thinking about, oh, yeah, they have to pay me extra hours. So here's, give me your credit card. You know, it, I don't feel like that. Right. I charge enough yeah. to, to, to take care of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so then we go crazy. Uh, the wedding day, usually I feel bad on my stomach because of all the nerves. Uh, I, I want to really deliver something amazing for them. And so I feel insecure, like a lot. Uh, 
there's there's always this uh, experience. If I get to the to the bride and, and grooms getting ready, and there's no music, I I know there's something wrong. You know, I feel the tension. Yeah. yeah. So so I'm always trying to to see how it's. I try to hug everyone so they can feel me, and then I just photograph without uh, any directions until the portraits. Uh, or the group shots. Um, and yes, I photograph everything. Uh, people think that I don't do all the normal stuff, but I do all the normal, all the traditional stuff. I just don't show it uh, on, on, on my website or on my socials because I want to be considered the weird ones, you know? <laughs> yeah, but it, it is what it is, you know? But, but it's, you, you, you control the narrative again. You yes. know, you, yeah. If you con don't control the, the narrative, they're going to be like, why are you so expensive? I I have ten other photographers charging me less than what you're charging me. So well, they're they're not hiring you for those traditional photos. They're hiring you mm -hmm. for that unique that unique shot that you get for all of your clients. Um, yes, and because that's what that's what you're portraying. You're getting you're getting the clients you want based on what you're portraying on your site. And I think it's mm -hmm. it's very smart. Yeah, but it's uh, it's obvious. But I see that a lot of people forget about that. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah, please take care take care of that. If, if you want to survive ten plus years in this industry, mm. you know that's that's always the goal. You know uh, because at the beginning you see all this passion from the newbies. Yeah, forget about the cubicle. I'm gonna be a photographer, and then five years it's like yeah, another freaking wedding. You know it's like it's it's so it, yeah. it, it doesn't have to be soul crushing, uh, yeah. but you have to control that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I keep teaching, you know, just to say, hey guys, please take care of this. It, it's not <laughs> about showing off; it's about taking care of what's important. Yeah. And and yeah, usually after I photograph, uh, send them the sneak peek, and I say on contract that it takes me up to three months to deliver the final the final products because I want to really enjoy that process as well. Or if mm -hmm. I want to experiment with my post processing. I can instead of oh shoot I have to deliver it no 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 I like to take my time yeah and then yes I send them uh, I send them all sneak peeks and then I wait a little bit and then I send the slideshow and then I wait a little bit and then I send the full gallery because I they, I want them to to see the important peaks and then the story and then everything else awesome mm -hmm. um you said something really interested in the, interesting in the middle there, and I was actually very surprised by it, but I guess I shouldn't be. Um, so you said that you get nervous and you get um, worried that you, I think you even said you might screw up or whatever it is. You're, mm -hmm. you're, you're getting um, imposter syndrome, basically. Yeah. And that surprised me um, just from knowing you from the <laughs> From the outside we you and i have never met in person um which is going to change one day but uh but uh it's it's really i was not expecting that can you talk a little bit about like have you always experienced because i i get it i get mm -hmm. imposter syndrome especially when i speak on stage and stuff like that yeah um so yeah can you talk a little bit more about about that yeah i think uh the, the process is ugly uh like uh, being in front of the camera it's awkward and then uh, you're, they're trusting in, in your artistry, but it's it's not science, <laughs> you know. Right. So so you you might get inspired because of a texture or because of the light or because of their chemistry, but sometimes you're off. So so that's the biggest problem. And then uh, shooting a wedding is it's it's a marathon. Uh, it's long hours of that you can that you have to be in focus, like with the camera and with your brain, you know. And, and then you have to anticipate what's about to happen, and then you have to oh create art between between the chaos and between uh, uh, dr drunk people and, and bad lighting, you know. So so there's a lot of things uh, against uh, the 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 creative gods. So you have yeah. to be solving problems and then you feel in, in the back of your neck all your amazing portfolio images and then um, am i able to to go uh, beyond those as well 
you know so it's it's scary that's why it's scary yeah. uh, and then you might not like them in person you know maybe maybe you say a bad uh, a bad comment uh and then people look at you like Shut up, man. You're here to photograph, you know? <laughs> so there are so many things. There are so many things yeah. against. Like, yeah. for example, I don't like, like, fancy restaurants. Like, I never go to a fancy restaurant. Only on anniversaries on my wife's birthday. But going to a wedding is like going to a fancy restaurant every weekend. So, so I feel like social anxiety as well. Um, and I know that my camera, it's my shield. Yeah. And so it, it's tricky for me. It, it doesn't come natural to create. Yeah. It's um, what you were just talking about with social anxiety. Um, so like one of the reasons why I don't photograph weddings on a regular basis myself is that I get that feeling at weddings. Like even as a guest, I'm, mm. I always feel uncomfortable um, I mean, I, I'm obviously very happy for whoever I'm, whoever's wedding I'm at, but I've always felt uncomfortable from the perspective just of like, ha you know, having to dress up formally. I'm not a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. um, and just like being surrounded by people that I don't know, you know, and, and I don't know. It's just something, there's something about it. It's more of the introversion in me that, yeah. um, that makes me feel uncomfortable at weddings. So I've, I take on like one wedding a year and it's usually something very, very special. Mm -hmm. Um, or something very, very unique. So, um, so I totally feel you on that. And I often get, when I do things that are high pressure like that, it's, can I deliver? You know, can I, same thing, can I find the creative aspect to, to deliver and be happy with it for, me, for myself, which will then mean that the, the client will be happy as well. Um, yeah, so. but that's the other thing, uh, like knowing your weak points and then fighting them. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's the magic. Everybody knows their comfort zone and you know, yeah. like being in that place, it's never going to make you uh, a better anything. Yeah. So that's one of the things that I keep shooting weddings after 17 years now, uh, because you never know, uh, you never know if, if you're, if you still have it in you. And, and, and for, for me, that's, that's beautiful. And I have seen so many like generations of photographer, uh, that they're still rocking and sometimes they're like, yeah, after 10 years, I'm off, I'm done, I have to do something else. And then you see the new ones. And, and I love that. It, it, it's an amazing challenge. Uh, and also to be grateful uh, because people are still seeing something special in your work as well. So, so that's magical because between photographers, sometimes there's a lot of respect. And, and they think that when you get to a wedding, there's going to be like a band playing for you and they're going <laughs> to they're going to feed you even better than their guests, you know, and right. it's not like that, nope. you know. So, so I love I love that about weddings, uh, like feeling like the underdog and, 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 and you're you're like, OK, let's prove all these humans that you can create something beautiful besides social photography, you know. Uh, and and let's let's show them, you know. Uh, and yeah. I, I love that. It's it, it's a chemistry. It's a love hate relationship. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so let's uh, let's talk a little techie for a little bit uh, mm -hmm. with the next question. What does the future of AI in photography look like to you? It's it's beautiful. It's it's something that I think there's going to be two leagues, you know, like uh, there's going to be people who are going to be like, yes, let's embrace it and let's go crazy. Like I yeah. saw I saw a good friend of mine from Australia, Felix, I'll, I'll send you his Instagram link. Uh, cool. and, and he did that, the, the before and after with AI and uh, without AI. Uh, the thing is, like, it, it can be, you know. Uh, yeah. they, they were like the purists, like, oh, everything's on the film and the grain and it's never going to look the same. And then, boom, everybody's shooting digital <laughs> unless you are like a Jose Villa, you know, and, and those big dogs. Uh, and that's it. So uh, disruption is good for, for humans. We, we need to see, uh, we need to feel challenged. And, yeah. and, and I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm, I still haven't played with it. Uh, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Interesting. I'm surprised you haven't played with it yet. I mean, maybe it's just a time thing, but the, it's interesting because the, the like Photoshop's new generative AI, for example, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Like right now, 
right now, like you legally cannot use it in your in your business, right? You're not allowed to, in theory, right? That's what the the league their 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 legal document or whatever says the term in the terms that wow it cannot be used for commercial work. So right now, it's in 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 theory, it can only be used for having fun and enjoying it and trying it and whatnot. But um, it is it is a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, I, know, no, I, I, I can um, see it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I just did a video on my own YouTube channel um, this week that sh uh, me walking through and showing like it's it's the good, the bad, and the ugly with it. Mm. And I did one where it was I was having some fun. So it was uh, I do a lot of proposal sessions, which are mm -hmm. high pressure, of course. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was a couple on the beach here in New Jersey, and I put a snowman on the beach, like I just. Selected an area and said snowman, <laughs> and it put a sn and it looks s so real. Wow! It, like, I mean, obviously that would never happen, but it looks so real. <laughs> so, Olaf, uh, Olaf, Olaf yeah, proposal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so like it, it, you know stuff like that. But then I tried to replace. Um, I've, I had this stupid project, photo project that I do when I travel, mm -hmm. um, where I photograph litter mm -hmm. that is like in like somebody left it in a really interesting spot, and I'll photograph mm. the litter. And wherever the scene is, and then I'll throw the litter away. And um, I have one that was like a, um, I don't even remember, a coffee cup or something. No, something sitting on top of like a post. Mm -hmm. And I selected it and I said, replace it. It was a sock. It was a sock. I said, replace it with a bird. And it made a sock bird puppet. <laughs> and I was like, that is not what I expected. Um, and it did wow. look real. So like the good, the bad, and the ugly, I showed it all. Um, Okay. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> for those who don't know, uh, Fair actually has a talent AI profile with Imagine. Um, <laughs> and it's not, it, I don't have um, our talent photographers on as much as I want to, and I'm glad you're here. <laughs> and um, so, the question I'm going to ask you uh is one that is fairly obvious because the impact that we have had in your life is pretty big um, to the point where you partnered with us to create a talent AI profile. Mm -hmm. uh, but with that all said, how did Imagine impact your life? Uh, well, it's the same as AI. At the beginning, do you think that it's not possible? And and you see your your brain struggling to to believe. Uh, you you feel like like um, like nah. Like you 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 don't think it's it's gonna be possible. And then with three kids, two dogs, and a wife, I, <laughs> I'm so grateful for it. You know, like yeah. I, I'm I'm still I still go crazy with 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 my favorite ones. I still tweak them because I want to feel like a like a man. I'm an artisan. You know, but. Yeah, uh, for for me and and my and my values, uh, the pictures are ready to be delivered. Awesome. So so I'm I'm super happy with it. You <laughs> know, I'm like yes, but still I still do the the three month delivery for my couples because I want to keep enjoying the process. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you know this, but um, so we've done a lot of events, a lot of conferences and whatnot um, over the past year. And that I'm sure you know, but <laughs> I'm getting to the point. So um, at a lot of these events, we have a lot of photographers come up to us and say, we love Tierra, mm. but it's just needs this tweak for my liking, right? Mm -hmm. Like people love your profile. Too grainy. But it's, it's too grainy is a lot of them, right? <laughs> Which is perfect for you, not mm -hmm. always perfect for everybody else. And the, the thing was until recently, there was no easy solution for everybody to make that change and now we have so many photographers that who had this issue where they love it but they didn't love this or they love this and, they love it. and whether it's your profile or someone else's mm -hmm. now with profile adjustments um they can make that change so nice. for example there's a lot of boudoir photographers that happen to be you know raving about your profile that they just don't want the grain for their boudoir so they take mm -hmm. out the grain in profile adjustments how beautiful is that 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 now your your editing style um, in Tierra it can be used by even more people who didn't feel comfortable for whatever parameter reason. <laughs> you that, know, before. That's magic. I, I have to watch a video of that because I, I've saw the update, 
but then yeah. once I, I I try to use it, I don't know what it is. So so I, I have to watch the video on on how to change before before uploading. Yeah, yeah, it's so <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. Um, when we're done recording, I'll I'll I'll, I'll load up my screen and, and show your show mm -hmm. you as well. But. Yeah, um, yeah. Like sometimes I, I try to use it afterwards. I was like, oh, shoot, I sh I choose one, but they don't know how to. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a, a hard problem with it. It would be like, yeah, yeah. You're kicking ass, yeah. man. I'm, I'm like right now. I'm I before this podcast, I was calling. I, I'm still with with calling. I'm 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 not a fan because I think uh, people stop learning. You know, mm -hmm. like uh, like by comparing images, like oh, if if I move an inch here, the images will be better. I stop using like AI calling. I I'm, I went by hand again, like uh, because I I'm I'm I forgot to learn. Interesting. That's a very interesting perspective on calling. Yeah. Very interesting. And I shoot a lot, man. Every wedding I finish with more than ten thousand images, so I I prefer to 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 take it slow and then to be more analytic on on the selecting. See, that's interesting. Where a lot of photographers are trying to move towards AI, uh, as far as culling goes, you you reverted, mm -hmm. um, just so you feel like you're you're learning from yourself. <laughs> yes, which is yeah. really cool. Really because cool. Because when you see a hog, you know, like it depends on, on your values as well. Maybe you say, "Oh, I have a hog, check." But for me, it's like which version of this hog it's it's better. Yeah, you know. So so you can see the the, the body language, and you can see this of the eyes and and for me that's extremely important yeah i'm curious would that change when ai calling is extremely personalized the way that editing is personalized with imagine would would, would your perspective mm. again shift yeah i i think i, I will give in uh, a chance for sure but as well perfect. like on, on the workshops that i do uh that's one of the exercises that we do like i show them the full contact sheet I don't know if yep. you have that book, a Magnum contact sheet. Uh, it, it, it's a beautiful book, man. Mm -hmm. uh, and they show you that process. So for me, that, that still has to be on, on, on school or be, be taught. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Um, well, Fair, thank you so much for, um, for taking the time to speak with me, to share all of your different insights and getting a little, little deep with, with, certain, with certain topics. Um, where can listeners learn more about you, connect with you, and, of course, see mm -hmm. your incredible photography. Well, uh, Instagram is the place to go, uh, at Fer Juaristi. That's the place, and I have a Spanish-oriented Patreon. It, everything's in Spanish, so it's not, it's not worth it if you only speak English, but, or if you want to le learn Mexican slang, I see you there as well. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much again. Um, I, I'm... I'm so happy you were able to join me and including doing it so fast. It was so great that we were able to hop on so, so immediate and, uh, and, and get recorded and get this, get this out for the world. So it's really always, it has it. to be like that, man. Yeah. We don't have to overthink things. It, it gets yeah. uh, how say, para paralyzed by analysis. So nope, let's <laughs> do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Pleasure, brother. Thank you so much, Fair, for that amazing, amazing conversation. I know there's so many takeaways that all the Imaginers listening to this have to fill their buckets with. So grateful that you took the time to speak with me. You have been listening to Workflows, presented by Imagine. To hear more from Workflows, to find links to our guests, and for an exclusive offer for Workflows listeners please go to imagineai.com slash podcast and be sure to subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.